Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about Arcane Mage best in slot for phase 2. So let's get started. For the head, we're going to use the tier 5 headpiece. This drops from Lady Vash in SSC. For the neck, we're going to use Sun King's Talisman. This drops from the Verdant Spear from Galtas in Tempest Keep. For the shoulders, we're going to use the tier 5 shoulders, which also drops from Tempest Keep from the boss Wide Reaver. The cloak, Royal Cloak of the Sun Striders, drops from Kaltas. For the chest, we are going to use the tier 5 chest piece, also, which drops from Kaltas Sun Strider. For the bracers, we are going to use Mindstorm wristbands, which drops from Alar in Tempest Keep. The Nexus key, a two-hand staff weapon is the best in slot for arcane mages in this phase and this drops from this also drops from Kaltas in Tempest Keep. So we have we have four items that drops from Kaltas. We have staff, the cloak, the chest, and the necklace. Now for the gloves, you can use Gauntlet of the Sun King, which is the actual best in slot if you want. This drops from Kaltas. So if you want this, you'll need five items from Kaltas. Or you can just go for the gloves of the Tears Fall, which drops from Leotherus the Blind from SSC. Now the difference between these two items is literally uh, one crit rating, one spell power, and two intellect. So the difference is very minor. For the belt, we have Belt of the Blasting. You get this from Tailoring. For the pants, we have the Tier 5 pants. You get this from Fathom Lord Garathras from SSC. Velvet Boots of the Guardian. This boot drops off of the Lurker below in SSC. Now, for the rings, we can use the rings from Phase 1. Uh, the Violet Eye Exalted Ring and the ring from... The chess event. If you want, you can use Band of Alar if you don't have uh, Ring of Recurrence, but but they are not that different at all. I think Ring of Recurrence is a, a recurrence is actually better, since you're sacrificing 19 crit for just uh, five spell power. Uh, for the trinkets, we have Serpent Coiled Braid. This is a mage only item, and this drops from. Morogrim Tidewalker in SSC. If this drops, this should be pretty easy to get. For the other trinket, we're going to use the badge trinket. And for the wand, we have the wand from Magtheridon. So we have three, four items from phase one. The wand, the trinket, and the two rings. Now as for how you should be gearing when the content is released, the first thing you want to do is get two piece of tier 5. For that I suggest you get the head, shoulders or legs ASAP, whichever you can get your hands on, as long as you just get two of them. So your second priority is going to be replacing your bad offsets, offset pieces, which might be bracers, your boots, depending on what, depending on uh, what you already have right now. And as you're working on replacing your offsets, also work on getting uh, the belt, which you'll need another vertex for. So this will depend on the guild you're playing with. And also work on getting your four piece or even five piece if you want for your tier five set. Let's say you have three piece tier five and you have your spell strikes pants and your spell fire gloves. Do you wait to get the pants even if you find that a uh, glove is available no you you i think it's best to just get the glove and then if the pants drop get the pants as well because the faster you get to the four set bonus the more damage you're going to be doing and i have simmed both gauntlet and tier 5 gloves the difference in dps is like three or four dps so if you want to go full tier 5 set, it's perfectly fine. And also, early in the phase, it's going to be best to keep 
your uh, Spellfire set as long as possible. So you can get that set bonus. Only break this set bonus when you can get your 4 piece uh, tier 5. Other than that, do not break this set bonus. And for gems, we are going to gem everything, at least everything at the beginning with intellect gems. For yellow gems, we're going to put intellect gems. And for blue gems, you're going to put, you can put spell damage and force spirit, or you can put intellect and spirit or intellect and mana per second, whatever you want. If you're trying to get Fang of the Leviathan, you can get it. Uh, the Fang and the offhand combo seems pretty much the same as the staff, but I think there's going to be more competition for the Fang if there are a lot of uh, casters in your raid. So just go for the staff. This is you can probably get this for uh, a very low amount of DKP. Now let's check out some simulations. Now with the gear I have just shown. So this is the build I have in the bis list I just showed so far. If you run this 30,000 times in a simulation, you get 2.1K, 2,171 DPS for a five minute boss fight. And this is with a Boomkin in your party, a Shadow Priest in your party, Elemental Shaman in your party, and with drums, bloodlust, and an innervate. So I'm gonna paste this link in the description and you can modify these and change your gear too if you want over here to see what's best for you. So let's say you don't have a boomkin in your party or a shadow priest or a shaman, then Let's remove the Bloodlust, let's remove Mana Tide, let's remove Innervate. Then your DPS is going to be 1.5k in a 5 minute boss fight. So you can see how much you need these, like these are very important to have a good group setup. You can also see here that if the boss fight is very short, let's say 50 seconds boss fight. 3369 DPS here you can actually see that if you use molten armor your DPS will actually go since you won't have mana problems so you can see your gear here see uh, the perfect combination of stuff you need to do for the different boss fights you're going to be playing in uh, tier 5 raids uh, the average fight is going to be around three to six minutes i think so play around with these numbers and find what's best for you so that's pretty much it thanks for watching and see you next time